What is up guys? How is everybody doing? I am Tiff. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out. This is going to be a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't port to fit your situation. If you would like a personal, all that information is in the description box below. Now the song that's channeling is Tracy Chapman Change. Um, the beginning, if you knew that you could die today and saw the face of God and love, would you change? Boom, would you change? If you knew that love could break your heart when you're down so low, you cannot fall, would you change? And the funniest thing, mm, would you change? Mm. Because when I started shuffling this deck and the change card popped out, then my son came in here bothering me because they know when the music's on that I'm <clears throat> in between or, you know, um, and he was like, can you change the song? And I was like, oh my God. Okay. So there is an energy here. Okay. With a soulmate, an everlasting energy. Somebody that you're very, very deeply connected to. You feel this this bond, not on a just a sexual level. This is a spiritual, emotional, physical bond. And the crazy thing is that this person, it took them a while to figure it out. But they're realizing, like, that you are their person their forever person and there's some kind of apology that they want to come in with they want to tell you that they're sorry because this is the energy with that song of somebody who is going back through life thinking about you know the things that they've gone through or like what they've put people through and you know now there's an energy of them like thinking like I don't want to lose the one person that I fit that I feel like knows me inside and out, right? So here comes an apology. So this this is, you know, maybe you waiting on them to change for a long time. Like if you knew that you could die today and saw the face of God in love, would you change? If you knew that love could break your heart when you're down so low, you cannot fall no more. Is basically what she's saying. Would you change? Mm. I definitely know that there's an apology. How bad, how good does it need to get? Mm. What did she say? Spending my life with this regret? Uh-uh. See? Let's see. I literally just said living life with these regrets. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. And so there's somebody who is very, very secretly unhappy. We have in the middle of the five card spread. Okay. We main energy is divine intervention. Okay. And this literally is what I was channeling with this song. Time for reflection. This is somebody that is reflecting back on life. This is somebody where they're down so low, they cannot fall. Look, they're at the bottom. Look at this, this water falling. You know, this person wasn't changing. They weren't seeing any faults in themselves. They weren't just living life exactly how they wanted to and not taking anybody else's feelings into accountability. And now spirit stepped in. So if there's a separation here between the two of you, know that there's a reason for this. The divine stepped in. Your spirit guides are not playing about you. Your spirit guides are not finna let nobody walk all over you. They ain't finna do that. Uh-uh. And, and it's like your spirit guides were cheering this connection on. They wanted this soulmate energy to come together so badly. Y'all, so, both of you guys' spirit guides were like teaming up like, yes, yes, right? But this person is like, they weren't changing. And so something major happened that caused the separation. Something between the two of you guys where this soulmate energy, it's like, they don't have access to you or you don't have access to them anymore. But there's a reason for that. 
This person's doing a lot of reflecting. Like, you know, life is short. Like, what, what if something happens today? I know I'm at the low, you, you, you know, looking back. And what they're doing is even though there's there's an energy of somebody has turned their back on this person or the other way around, uh, but I feel like, you know, somebody's secretly unhappy here with happiness and bliss coming up in the reverse. There is somebody who is just at a very, very low point. Um, and it is because somebody has turned their back on them. But what's crazy is somebody really hasn't turned their back on them. Somebody is actually, while their back is turned on this card, what are they facing? This other energy, right? They're actually really watching. And it, it, it's making somebody very, very unhappy, right? Would you turn around? Would you change? Okay, so this surrounding this divine intervention and this time for reflection, we do have, you know, this uh, this happiness and bliss in the reverse and regrets and mistakes here, okay? So th that's exactly what they're reflecting on. They're very, very, they're not in a good place at all whatsoever. And they're reflecting on all the mistakes, all the regrets, everything that they've done in life to get them to this point where they're at, right? And so I feel like there is an energy of them wanting to change. There's an energy of them working on changing. I feel like this person is spending a lot of time alone, doing a lot of reflecting, I feel like this is a very, very sacred connection between the two of you guys. Um, and ultimately, like this person, even if you aren't, have never, you're, I just keep hearing spiritually married. You know, there's like an energy where you guys are spiritually married to one another. But in this 3D life, it makes it very difficult. <clears throat> 4D, whatever you want to call it, okay? Um... But in the 5D, you're, you two are connected so fucking deeply and they know it. They might have went through and hurt a lot of people in their life. They might have played games with a lot of people in their life. They might even be trying because there's a separation right now or whatever is going on between the two of you guys. They could be trying to play other people in their, you know, and deal with other people, but Oh my gosh, why am I hearing that? Nothing compares, hey, nothing compares to you, okay? Ultimately, there's a change. What's at the bottom? Ooh, ghosted disappearing. So there's an energy of somebody that has ghosted or disappeared. I feel like unexpected, all of a sudden, somebody stepped out of their comfort zone. I don't know. I don't know who ghosted the other person unexpectedly, right? Somebody here ghosted somebody unexpected. All of a sudden, shockingly just ghosted the other person. And it's sad because here we have these very deep romantic feelings that somebody has and this sense of peace, the sense of comfort, the sense of safety when they're in your energy. There's a safety, there's a comfort, there's this true sense of romantic feelings. This isn't sexual chemistry, this is mental, physical, well, physical, okay, spiritual, emotional, right? I just heard they don't show too much of their emotion though. So, after somebody's been ghosted, okay, and this person unexpectedly ghosted, ain't heard from this person, knowing that there's this deep soul connection that the two of you guys have, right? They're going to be calling you. 
you're going to be hearing from them what you don't see coming now whoever this is now if you're the one that ghosted them you're going to be calling them you know you're thinking about it you think about reaching out to them but i'm feeling like there's this energy where somebody felt this deep spiritual bond this this sense of safety this sense of comfort and also their feelings for you came unexpectedly too they were scared to be vulnerable. This person stays in a constant state of misery. Like, and I'm not talking about like, they're just like a miserable Eeyore all the time, okay? But I'm saying like, they might laugh and they might have friends and they might do this, but there's still like a hole where they feel like there is something missing. And you are that missing piece. But instead of embracing that, that, that missing piece, they they blocked this, this you out. They ghosted you. And now they're looking back. Like what they're doing is it's not even you that they're re just reflecting on. They're reflecting on life, period. They're reflecting on the future. They're, it, it's like everything is going through this person's mind right now. And it could have been a shock when somebody like just completely cut somebody off or just stopped talking to somebody here. But it's like spirit did this for a reason. Somebody really needs time to like heal. Somebody's gotten very comfortable also being alone. And I feel like this is something that somebody needs to come out of too. But look, call hearing from them intimacy bonding okay and that's the thing this is what i'm seeing like people that can two people right that can talk on the phone for two three hours you know what i'm saying about random shit and not get tired of talking to one another right i'm seeing two people that can laugh and be themselves while at the same time holding back a little bit because of a fear of being vulnerable here. These are two people that are such divine counterparts, deep soulmate connection here. There's definitely a, an apology coming because that came up earlier. So you might hear from them. They call you. They give you an apology. They explain to you why they haven't spoken to you, why you haven't heard from them. I'm not seeing, you know, I... I'm not going to twist this reading and be like, oh, there's this karmic and they're out. That's not what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing this, this energy of them coming in. And this is somebody that, you know, when they call you, they're going to be honest. Like, I really have fucked up a lot of things in my life. I have been in this energy of feeling like I'm comfortable alone. Whatever it is, you know, that they're going to explain to you. And that they took this time not to just fuck with random people, but to really feel out who they want to be with. There is an energy, though, of them, like, wanting ultimately to be married, but there's also an energy of them not being sure if, and I gotta be honest, even though there's this intimate bond between the two of you, there's this energy where they're not sure if you are what they're looking for in a husband or wife, okay? And this is what makes them second guess and question it and then unexpectedly just ghost you. I feel like this has happened more than once. Maybe shit was good and then unexpectedly they ghost the fuck out of you. That's because they're becoming vulnerable. That's because there's a true intimacy. There's a true bond here. They don't want that. They're scared of that. They, they're they scared of that. Those romantic feelings, it makes them step out of their comfort zone. It makes them step out of where they feel safe, where they feel comfortable at. And so what do they do? Unexpectedly ghost. Unexpectedly block you off. Okay, so there is somebody here that they were dealing with. Now, we do have single parent under their home. 
hookup competition the other woman i'm sorry okay so here it comes out that's what that divine timing see spirit ain't playing it's, it's like everything that's happening is happening for a reason so where i said i'm not gonna twist a reading i'm not but here it comes there's an ex-lover there's there's somebody else that they reignited some kind of spark with or this is an old lover okay i believe there's somebody here because it says competition the other woman that they were hooking up with whoever this person is okay they could be a single parent they could have their shit together a nice house a nice um whatever you know on, on top of like being on their shit and this person went to hooking up with this other person or you're the person who's like a single parent on your shit pay your bills got your shit together But yet, they're out here fucking with other people. I feel like this person, it's like they don't want to set a foundation here. Until, I don't know. Because I don't think this person is doing this in a way to hurt you. I'm seeing this in a way where it's like somebody is motherfucking playing the field. Because... There's something about you that scares them about marrying you. I don't know if it's like you stick up for yourself, you're bold, you're beautiful, you get attention. I don't know. But it's something that draws an insecurity out of this person that they project onto you. There's an ex that they went back to fuck. So that's who the, the person is that they were hooking up with and having this one night stand with is this ex, Okay. Spirit did this so that they can... Because this is an ex that they might have been stuck on for a while. Okay? This is an ex that they were stuck on for a while. Like, this is somebody that they might have thought that they had this, you know, this bond with, whatever. They didn't, though. They didn't, though. And so it was like, Spirit bringing these two... The reason why you guys couldn't fully, completely come together is because they were still holding on to something from their past. They just could not get over. And this is why they were in a state of misery, a state of unhappiness. It had to do with something from their past that they just could not get over, that they have held on to. So Spirit it brought that back together. And I feel like this could have been during Mercury retrograde. You know, exes come back together. They brought this shit back together just so that this person can let finally let go of this person for good yeah they hooked up with the ex yeah this was somebody that they had deep feelings for and maybe they made a lot of mistakes when they were in that relationship and they held a lot of regret but spirit brought them together so that they can break up for good so it can be done so they can finally see that that ain't what they thought it was that's when you're going to be getting this call from them this call with this apology right spirit saying just wait it out just chill wow didn't i say they're coming in with some honesty they're coming in with some honesty with some truth divine timing believe in divine timing what you don't see bottom of the deck them coming in with honesty them coming with, with truth and this person is going to be very straightforward even if it hurts your feelings i feel like they're going to be 100 percent honest and you can't do nothing but respect them for that but know that they're coming in just just sit back they might talk about you know how they thought that this other person was a deep spiritual connection and they had this unhealthy attachment and see they had this unhealthy attachment to an ex that they thought could have been a twin flame and then you came into their life look they thought this ex was a deep soulmate then you came into their life and look faded meeting important connection twin flame connection them turning their back on this unhealthy attachment that they once had to their ex and focusing on who they were finally realizing that they were fated to be with that's important their twin flame their soulmate maybe a proposal coming somebody that can not only be a friend but a lover 
Tell me again, hey, can we be lovers and friends? Missing thinking about you. Mm, they are thinking about you. You're on their mind. Look, intuition and signs. This person is very intuitive, just like, like I don't know. They might even be spiritual themselves. They have an inner knowing. Their intuition and their signs being sent to them all around, pushing them back towards your direction. Tell me again. Hey, what are they going to do? Can we be lovers and friends? They're finally going to surrender. <laughs> After all that fighting, trying to figure out, there's because there's something about your energy where they feel like, eh, that not marriage material eh, might not work. Eh, I don't know why they do that. Even though they feel this deep connection with you. It's like, why? Why? And then ghost you unexpectedly? No. No. Hmm. Spirit ain't playing with them. Spirit's about to look. Spirit's about the divine is stepping in and making they ask. Would you change? <laughs> they finna surrender. Ooh, trying. You will be hearing from them is what I was about to say. Expect a call. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.